This is Gavin back again. We're just going. This is you're now doing the style guide brief, and this is not a step by step on how to do the whole job, but it's really just an overall on what a good way of setting up your initial document. There's videos provided for this, and you've also done quite a few exercises with other units, so you should be right to go with this one. So what we're doing, this thing is all based on the Australia Day. PDF which is this one okay you can literally copy the text out of this file and you can use this text in your document okay if you change the word Australia Day to the name of your logo but as far as text goes this is fine okay so you need that PDF open you will need your logo which you've already completed so this is your illustrator version of your logo so file save as we're going to save that as an illustrator file or an EPS either one into your folder where all your other work's going to go and you'll save that. So at the moment you've got one logo and you're about to do the style guide for it. So we're now using InDesign. Okay, so we want InDesign. As I said, this is just a quick overall, but what we want to do, everything's going to be A4 landscape, so we want a new document. It be, might be around about six, seven pages, but we'll just start, say, with five pages. So we just type in here five. Okay, we don't want facing pages, we want A4, you can see here, we want landscape, and this is important now, we want margins around the outside of the document to be 20. You can do whatever you want, but as long as you know what these are. We're going to use a six column grid here, so six column grid with a gutter between five, so A4, five pages, six column grid and the margin, where there's no bleed or slug on this one, it's just going to be saved as a PDF, so if I OK that, I get exactly what I've asked for. An A4 document, six column grid, so all of our text and bits and pieces will go in this, okay? Here's your five pages, you can see down in the pages palette here. Here's your pages, here's your tool palette, off you go. So the first thing I'd be doing is placing your logo in that you've already done. So if I just find that, yep, here's my logo. So literally, that was just file place. That logo is gonna sit down the bottom corner. Remember when you place things, they do come in at a low resolution. Not low resolution, just low quality. So high quality, okay. So that's how our document's going to go there. And what we're going to do now is reference the PDF. And in the brief, you've got to use a certain amount of elements from this one. So just say, for example, we're going to use the mono and reverse. Um, just say we're going to use the minimum size logo. So I can physically go in and just copy this text. You can type it if you want. So I'm just going to copy this text come back to InDesign using my grid system all my stuff's going to go from here and run across two columns so edit paste and there's my minimum size text go through I'm going to format that text to look good okay so this is up to you you guys are no okay so we're just going to get one right so we'll go minimum size Okay, we'll do some space after this one. It's all about formatting your text, making it look good. Okay, you get returns. So if I go type show hidden characters, you will get a return at the end of all lines if you copy text out of a PDF. Okay, so we're just going to delete those guys. All right, click all that one, use space after again. So that kind of looks like it should. Minimum size. I need minimum size. <laughs> Right, so that's going to be one of my elements on my page. So I need a logo because this is what we're talking about. So this logo here, I want this logo to be 25. So you look up here, 29 mils. What we're saying there is it can't be under 25 mils. So that's 25 there. So if I put that there, so one of the elements, and then we'll just be clever. You know what I mean? So it's a matter of just using master pages. So this logo, I'm going to cut that off there. Go up here to master pages. Double click on master pages and say paste in place. So I want my logo to sit like that on every page. Just be smart with your logo. It's a good design. You like what you've done. So literally make that, make the logo a design element. Okay, so I might just put that, that might just run across here. So on all of my document, that's going to be there. Okay, this is where your design, so we're going to put an opacity on that. Okay, so that might sit there on everything. So as you can see on all my pages now, I put that onto the master page. So back here, it's starting to look like a document. So come through to the minimum size one. That's that one. So all I'm going to do is the next thing. I've got a grid system, so I might run this one across here. And then the next one, 
might be typefaces. So use the same documents. Okay, so go into this stuff. Okay, so what you want to do is just go through the document now, work out what you want to do. So the typeface, based on the PDF here, will go into what the typeface is. Okay, so this one, I'm going to copy that stuff. Command C, back to InDesign, into here. The typeface font used for this logo is, you obviously will have to change this because we're using Helvetica, whatever you use. So this one, okay, so that's change that to the right font right size so that's as you go through and you just build your thing the grid you can see where the grid is so everything lines up with that one so when we get down to the next page we might copy this one come down to the next page edit paste in place and this one might will be um, misuse of logo and this one has got a little bit of text which we're going to go and get and just remember so your logo now so back to we want a copy of our logo down to the misuse of logo page so paste that one there and we'll go through it we're going to use our grid here so all the different versions are going to be like that and we're going to say this one you can't you can't squash it you can't do this you can't rotate it okay so there are all the things that you can't do and then you might just have a little box under here you're just building as you go along you know there's lots of samples on how to do it so down here do not scale okay so this font we click on this stuff we're going to use our eyedropper tool so click on this one use the eyedropper we want that font but maybe a tiny bit smaller and as you can see if I hide guides here that's starting to look like a style guide okay so yeah that's it so you're going to work through pick things from here put them onto the document and when you completed this one it's just you will hand this in as a PDF, so it'll just be file. You've got, there's videos on how to do this. Normally it would be press quality, but in this case it's going to be smallest file size. Okay, so go through your name and style guide into the correct place where it's going to go. Okay, desktop. Okay. All right, this one. So we're going to save this one. In this case, you want view PDF after exporting, which means it will open. And there's not much to this one. It's just don't touch anything, basically. All you want is a straight PDF, no trim, no bleed. So if I just say export, go OK. And that's my PDF right there. So if I scan through that as pages, all right, so that's the style guide brief. This, it tells you what to do in the brief. There's a lot of examples. There's stuff on how to work with type. If you do want to use character styles and paragraph styles, there's a thing on how to do that. How to do automatic page numbers. If you want to do page numbers, there's a video supplied for that. Okay, good luck with this one. This is a good brief, this one. So I look forward to seeing your work. Cheers.